everyone, it's Deanna Royce here. Thank you so much for clicking in to watch this video. Before I even get into it, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you like my vibe. And also go ahead and hit the notification bell so that you will get a notification every time I upload. Today I'll be sharing with you guys a tutorial that I did to make this beautiful pillow here. This is a pillow that I made for my daughter. Um, so if you're interested, please just continue to watch. To make my pattern, I will be using a old pillow cover. Here I'm just measuring out the size that I need. Then I write down the dimensions with chalk. At this point, I mark out the area that I need, adding one inch seam allowance all the way around. So technically, you need a space that is 22 by 19 inches. Then I just get my pinking shears and cut out the pattern that I marked out. If you have standard scissors, that's fine too. Once you cut the first piece, you're going to get the remainder of your fabric and you're just going to put right sides together and cut the same thing out again so that you'll have two pieces. Just make sure that you have both of the right sides touching. Nothing is worse like putting together something and then realizing that you stitched it on the wrong side. So here I'm just putting in my one inch seam allowance all the way around, making sure that I leave an opening so that I can stuff the pillow in. I'm just showing you where I stitched and where I left open. At this point, I just get my Cricut iron on and I cut it down to the size that I need. My project, I only needed 12 by seven inches. So that's what I'm doing here. Once the image is completely cut, you just want to weed away the pieces that you no longer need. For the larger areas that I no longer need, I just pull it away with my hands. I also like to have my computer next to me so that I can see the image that I'm working After everything is weeded away, this is what you're left with. The image is on the reverse side and you can see the shiny parts. That is the transfer paper. You'll see exactly how the transfer paper comes into use in a minute. Here I'm just turning my pillow that I just made inside out, making sure that I push the corners out. They do have special tools to help you with this, but I didn't think that it was necessary to get mine out for this project. Then I grab my ruler and I line it up with the edges of my design and pillow. Lining up things just help to provide a more professional look. Just because you made it at home, you don't want it to look like it was made at home. Then on a medium to low setting, you just want to take your time and go over your image. Because you really want to make sure that it adheres to your fabric. As you can see here, I'm testing aside a little piece to see if it is sticking, and it is. So I begin to slowly pull back my transfer paper. And the transfer paper is there just to ensure that your image is transferred nice and stays in place and maintains its character throughout this entire process. 
So this is what the iron-on is looking like. As you can see, there's no residue around it. It's just the image that I transferred. At this point, I like to keep a bit of scrap fabric around so that I can then go over the image once again, making sure that it is just really in place the way that I want it to be. You don't have to use scrap fabric. You can use a pillowcase. You can use the corner of a sheet, a t-shirt, whatever that you have. I basically just use that so that if there's any little bits of gunk on my iron, it will not be transferred over. At this point, I'm just fighting with my pillow to get into the pillow cover, which there should be a little bit of a struggle because you do want a small space for it to get into because then you have less to stitch up at the end. Now I'm just folding in my open area and making sure that it's nice and straight in preparation to stitch it. I like to pin mine in place and then I just go ahead and do a quick slip stitch with a thread color that matches my main fabric. And pillows are just an easy and inexpensive way to go ahead and add new flair to your home. Also, please bear in mind that you do not have to make the pillow from scratch. Um, you can go ahead and buy, purchase a pillow cover. Just make sure that it has a way for you to access it, like a zip or buttons or something, so that you can get you can uh, lay it flat. Meanwhile, you're trying to add here your custom design onto it. So yeah, guys, until next time, please remember to subscribe. Please subscribe and like this video. I would really appreciate it as well as hit the notification button. Until next time, guys, always remember to have good vibes. Bye.